guys, welcome back to Awesome Aisha. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this new toy called Pixel Bits. Um, yeah, so let's get unboxing. Okay guys, so here is everything um, this Pixel Bit set came with. Um, it came with a little sprayer and then some this little plastic container to spray in. It also came with these um, beads. And if you look at inside this box right here, you can see that you can actually store all your beads in here. So I'm probably going to store it in a minute. But anyway, it also comes with some tools, so you can easily um, put the, these um, bits on. And then it also comes with these um, stickers and then these, um, I think, accessories. I don't know, I'll find a way to use them. And then it also comes with these plates, and you have to use these plates to um, make your creation on here. So, which it, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, let's get. Started. Okay, guys. So basically, the next thing what we're going to do before we actually start um, making the things is we're going to be organizing all our beads into here so yeah i'm just gonna quickly fast forward that part and yeah okay guys so i have all my um bits organized here and i had to share the colors in the middle one um because there weren't 10 squares there were nine squares but that's fine um, anyways, now we're gonna move on to making the characters. So this set also comes with ideas or like, um, yeah, ideas that you can make. Um, so we have a cherry, like a karaoke music thing. And then we have, um, a boy here and then this toy car. And then we have this cute little bunny and we have this flower. And then we have um, like a cool, cool little animal here. I don't know what it is. And then we have this girl over here and then her chips bag and then a little um, pet. And then over here we have this like candy girl with a boba tea. So yeah. Okay guys, so I decided I'm gonna do this cute little cotton candy girl with the boba, of course. Um, so basically what you need to do is you just need to place this mat um, underneath your bits maker and you want to make sure that you are putting these X's right here aligned with these squares right here that way it'll be easier to add the bits so we're just going to connect this as best as we can Oh yeah, and also guys, if you guys are confused on what these twos and ones mean, it basically just means that these are two layers. So like, this is the teal color, right? So you're going to put two layers of teal colors, so that's what that means. So yeah, now let's get started. Okay, so now I'm just going to open my little pixel bits here. Okay guys, so the first layer, basically we can do it with our hand. We don't need to use any of the tools yet. So it looks like first we need a teal piece. So we're just going to stick that on just like that. And then we're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again until we get to the end, so yeah. I'm just gonna keep doing that and I think this is her hair she has teal hair it's pretty cool so I'm just gonna go all the way around okay guys so I finished the hair and the shoes and any part with teal on it so now I'm gonna work on the skin 
so we just have to place one bead right here oh and guys you have to make sure that you don't add the second layer you have to spray the water first and then add the second layer which we will do right in a second after we finish adding our first layer so yeah i'm just gonna fast forward this part and add all my blocks and then yeah Okay guys, so I finished making my first layer as you can see. So now what we're going to do is basically what we need to do is we're just going to place this on top just like that and we're going to take our spray bottle and flip it upside down and just spray it. One, two, three, four, five, six and we have to do it on all five of these so one two three four five six one two three four five six and one two three four five six one two three four five six Okay guys, now the water is just basically to help the um, pixel bits glue together. So now we're just going to wait for um, the glue to dry or the water to dry actually. And yeah, then we'll move on to layer 2 and layer 3. So yeah. Okay guys, so I decided while the glue is drying, I'm going to make the little boba. So the little boba should be really easy. Um, because it's only one layer, so I'm just going to do it with you guys. So first we need, oh, well, first we have to put this underneath, of course. So let me just align it. Okay, there we go. Put it down. Okay, so now we're going to do the boba. So the boba is literally only one layer. So it just means we have to spray only one, Oops. which is good. Oh no, my fingers are wet. That's a bad thing. Because if your fingers are wet, the glue starts to um, work its action. And I don't want my hands all sticky. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to add, um, now we're going to add three of these on the side. And we're going to add nine purple. So let me get nine of them. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine okay now stick them on okay guys so we're done making the boba and later when we um spray layer two when we add layer two and then spray it we're also going to be spraying this while we're spraying layer two so it's going to be good so yeah, um, I think we just have to wait a few more minutes for this layer to dry and then I'm going to move on to putting on layer 2. So yeah. Okay guys, so I'm just going um, to move on to adding um, layer 2. I've already checked and the glue is dry. So I'm just going to fast forward this part and quickly add two more layers except on the parts where it says one and i don't need to put this underneath anymore because i already know what the picture looks like and it's just layers that i have to put on so yeah i'm just gonna quickly do that Okay guys, so I finished adding my layer 2 and I also finished my boba tea, 
my delicious boba tea. Um, so now I'm going to be spraying it again. And I didn't add three all at once because the best trick is to um, add one block and then spray it and then add another layer and then spray it and then add another layer and then spray it again. So yeah, now we're just going to spray it six times again and wait for the glue to dry. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay guys, so layer two has officially dried. So now we're gonna move on to layer three. Um, so we're just gonna take um, two of these cause we only need um, this part right here for our two layer. So yeah, we're just gonna place it on. Oh, it's already coming off. Oh wow. Okay, that's fine because it actually is supposed to come off. Okay, there we go. Now we have her shoes done. Guys, so now we just need to spray it one more time. Guys, so the glue is dried, um, but I just realized and found out actually um, that you can actually put the stickers in these um, pockets right here. So I'm just gonna put the stickers in the pockets right here. Just like that. And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put like half and half. So like three in here. Then I'm gonna put three on the top. That way it'll be balanced. Okay, there we go. Now, hey guys, so I figured out how to do it. So um, here's what you need to do. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with the shirt and her face. So here's the shirt she's gonna be wearing. She's wearing the Game Over shirt. So um, you're gonna be needing to use this green green tool right here. So what you need to do is you need to flip this over and you need to kind of peel it off from the back, not the front, the back, the white side. Okay, and once you peel it off, there it's not gonna be sticky anywhere. It's just gonna be kind of like paper. You're gonna take this tool and it kind of just sticks on its own. <gasps> oh no. Oh, okay, phew. Anyways, I was saying it kind of just sticks on its own. And you want to be careful not to make it fall on the glue because now it's all sticky. Um, but yeah, what, are you, what you're going to do is you're just going to take it like that. And you're just going to carefully stick it right on there. And you can use your finger to let go. And you're just gonna take this clear piece or the back end, cause it does stick. And you're just gonna lightly dab it on there so it just stays on there well. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna do the face. So again, we're just going to take the face. We're gonna be using this one right here. And you have to be careful not to rip it cause I don't wanna rip it. Okay, just gonna take it from here. Just gonna take it out like this very carefully. Trying not to rip it, okay. There we go, now we're gonna take it from like the top or I'm just gonna take it from somewhere. Oops, wrong side. Okay, we're just gonna, oh, no, 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 not again. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna do it over here. Uh, uh. Okay, I'll be, okay guys, finally I got it. So now we're just gonna carefully, oh, oh, oh no, oh my gosh. No, not again. This is harder than it looks. Okay, I'm just gonna do it with my hands. You know what, it's easier to do it with your hands. 
and you're just going to carefully place it. I'm going to start from the top because that's where the bangs start from. Oh no, it's not straight, okay. You can still fix it though, it's pretty easy to adjust. And yeah, there we go. So now I'm just going to take the back of my tool and just dab it on there. Okay, there we go. Just like that. And there's our little girl right there, the little cotton candy girl. I'm going to name her the cotton candy girl because I don't know what else to call her. But anyways, I'm just going to put my two stickers back. There we go. And now I'm going to do the boba. Well, okay, now I have to open it again. Um, so I'm just going to take out the part where it has my boba stickers. It's this one right here. So, um, I think there are two stickers on this one. Um, so first we're gonna take off this white piece right here. Just peel it off. And we're just gonna take a green thing and move this aside. There we go. And when it's sticking, just plop it right on, just like that, and it'll stick by itself. And like I said, it's really pretty easy to adjust. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to take our boba sign, and we're going to peel that off and do the same thing. So we're just going to peel like that. Okay. And I think it goes right on top. That's going to be kind of hard to stick, but um I think I was supposed to put the boba sticker on first. Oh wait, no. Okay, never mind. It's fine. I kind of wanted the boba to show anyway, so I'm not going to put on the boba sticker, so I'm just going to put it back. And I could always use it another time. Okay. But anyways, now our boba is done. So now we're going to move on to the next step. Uh, so the next step is going to require more waiting, and I don't like waiting, but... You're gonna have to. So we're just gonna take our little piece right here and we're gonna spray on top of the stickers and it's just gonna help it see it. So like again, six sprays on each side. Okay guys, so it's been about 20 minutes and these are completely dry. Um, so the stickers are completely dry and then the blocks are completely dry it looks really really cool and then the same thing with the boba completely dry so now guys we're gonna make one more figure so um the next figure we're gonna be making is the flower um it's okay guys so now we're gonna make the 3d flower so Let's grab our little lock thing with lots of cubes. Put our little square underneath. And there we go. Okay guys, so I'm just going to fast forward this part because I'm going to do this really quickly with you guys. So yeah, here we go. guys so there is layer one so now we're just going to um spray it and let that dry and then just add the three tops in the middle right here so yeah let's do that okay guys 
guys, so um, I decided while I'm waiting, um, since I only need one layer for the flower, why don't I add a sticker on the flower? So I have my little sticker tool thing, whatever you, you might call it here. And here are all my stickers. So, hmm. Let's see, there are lots of cute stickers. Mm, I think I'm going to choose this donut right here. Yes, I'm going to choose this donut right here, guys. So, just going to peel, peel, peel it off just like this. Then we are going to take it like that on our little sticker thing. And I'm going to stick it right here in the middle of my flower. There we go. Now it's a donut flower. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to wait for that to dry. And then I'm going to add the three layers in the middle, then spray it again. So yeah. Okay guys, so the glue on top of this is pretty much dried. So now I'm gonna take my pixel bits and I think we only need two more. Yes, we only need two more. And I will, and now I'm just going to stack two more beads right on top of here okay there we go and now we're going to spray this again and wait like about 20 minutes more so yeah let's spray okay guys so it's been 20 minutes so now I'm just going to, oh, this came out really easily, actually. It's still a little bit sticky, but that's fine. Um, and now we're just going to place it right on top like that and let it dry. Okay, guys, I got it to stick on. Here it is. It's very, very sticky, so I'm going to go try and um, dry it in the fan. But guys, to be honest, um, this piece for the glue to dry, it took me like about a day or two um, for the glue to completely dry. Um, so it's probably going to take like a day or two for this one to also just completely dry. So yeah, I'm just going to dry it as much as I can underneath the fan and then yeah. Okay guys, so the flower, the fan kind of helped the little flower kind of dry a little bit, but it's still not completely dry. It's still going to take a day or two for it to completely dry. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. And make sure you go check these Pixelbit Studio creations. Um, the Amazon link is down below if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later. Bye!